Hi there, this is Northern Access, and today we're coming at you with a quick start guide to setting up your brand new iSavvy iSat Hub satellite Wi Fi hotspot. So, we're going to go ahead and get you started. We got the device out and ready, uh, the battery's off, and what you want to do first is install your SIM card. First of all, make sure you look at your uh, the quick start guide that the device came with. It'll show you the exact direction that you're going to want to install the SIM card. As you can see there, the seal right there does say SIM. Uh, so go ahead and open up that seal. And then the uh, slot that's on the left hand side, that's where you're going to want to install your SIM card. Make sure again you look at your quick start guide that the device came with uh, to make sure uh, that it's installed in the correct direction. So from there go ahead and put it back down and we're going to install the battery. In my opinion the battery uh, is a delicate kind of thing so you're going to want to make sure you do it kind of exactly like uh, we're showing you here. And it does show you this in this quick start guide as well. Come in from the side kind of at an angle and listen for the click. You hear the click right there. Wiggle it around a little bit. Make sure it's firmly in place. And now you're ready as far as that goes. And again, as far as with the battery, hopefully you put a charge of at least eight hours on it the night before. You can always check your uh, the charge of the battery with the actual with that little button right there. When you press that, uh, there's four illuminated bat kind of uh, lights that will show you exactly the uh, status of your battery. Uh, from that point we're going to go ahead and if you're using a smart device download uh, the applications that you need to actually control it. Uh, there's two applications. One is the control app. The other one is the iSat Hub voice app as you can see there. Kind of self-explanatory. The uh, voice app is going to be the one that you're going to use whenever you make phone calls. Um, the other one, the control app, is the one you're going to use when you want to get on the internet or uh, control any of the settings for your device. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do after you download those is go ahead and uh, you can take the unit outside and uh, we'll Pretend we're outside and at this point you're going to want to go ahead and power the unit on. And for the very, very first time, there's the power button. Pretty uh, easy to see. So once you power the unit on uh, with any MRSTAT device, it has to gain uh, GPS location first. So it, it takes about five minutes for the very, very first GPS locationing. So while that's gaining GPS, you're going to want to go ahead and go into the Wi-Fi center of, of your smart device or a laptop for that matter. And then uh, you're going to look for the iSavvy on under, you know, in your Wi-Fi section of your smart device or your laptop. I'll show you exactly what you're going to see. It's kind of like a router that you would have uh, at home. So it's going to be, uh, when you open up your Wi-Fi center, the default SSID is going to be iSavvy. So you will, on any other device, you'll see it say iSavvy right on it so you can't miss it. But the one next to it is the important one. It says SSID PW. That's going to be your password to actually join the Wi-Fi network. So basically, uh, you can change all that once you actually access the control app. Uh, but for now, you enter that in and go ahead and uh, log on to your, uh, your Wi-Fi hotspot. At this point, uh, you're going to go ahead and uh, open up your control app. We'll show you kind of uh, what it looks like. Once you get into the control app, it's automatically going to ask you for your username and password to start controlling the device. The default username and password is lowercase admin for the username and then password of 1234. Uh, once you enter that in you can change it once you're in the control app uh, but for now uh, it, that'll get you into the control app so you can get going. From that point uh, your unit should be or have already gained uh, GPS coordinates and, uh, and ready to go ahead and, and start going and 
accessing the network. So at this point, you see the four arrows that's actually on the uh, left side. That is going to actually tell you the direction that you need to point to get to the MRSAT satellite that is closest to you. If it's uh, illuminated green on the up uh, the top arrow, that means you need to point it up. If it's likewise the down arrow, you need to point it down. And then of course you got your left and right. And that means you need to either turn it right or need to turn it left, whatever direction. Um, once you have it in the right spot, up or down, then both lights will illuminate. The same with left or right, then both lights will illuminate. So once all four lights are illuminated, then you have prime position and you're ready to access the network. So at that point, once all four lights are illuminated, then you're going to want to actually hit the uh, pointing assist exit mode, that little button right there, which is on the opposite side of the power button. You, so you hit that, that exits pointing assist mode, and that means that you are ready to rock. At that point, you're already ready in your uh, control app, so you can basically uh, scroll through some of the uh, different things here. It says connect to network, so it'll go ahead and register on the network. You do need to have at least 40 dB uh, to actually have uh, you know a good kind of network uh, connection. So just make sure you have at least that much. Uh, if not, then you're not in the prime position. Uh, you can see there on this spot on the control app, uh, that's where you're going to want to turn your data on. Uh, so and it'll once you turn the data on, then it'll say switch data off. The minute you turn that data on, you're going to start using megabytes. And you can see right on the screen, they've, MRSAT has done a great job at making the uh, application. It says how many megabytes you've used or how many megabytes you have on your plan to use. And it'll always tell you your battery strength, your, uh, your decibels uh, that you got as far as your signal, and actually how many devices are connected to the, uh, the iSavvy itself or whatever device, uh, iSat hub device you're using. Um, you can connect up to 10, and, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, so at that point, if you need to use the voice app, then of course uh, you can uh, get out of that and then go into the voice app, which is pretty cool itself. It's kind of just like Skype. It'll uh, actually show all the contacts that you got inside of uh, your smart device that you can access right from there. Uh, now, as far as the laptop goes, you're going to want to actually, uh, there's not applications to download, so you get into it almost like a router. And what you'll do is dial in 192.168.1.35 that'll access the control panel for the device itself. Same thing, it's gonna ask you for the username and password, which is lowercase admin, and then password of 1234. Uh, once you get into that, that's where you can actually uh, do the same exact type of stuff. Uh, turn on your data, uh, and it'll show you how many megabytes you've already used, how many you got, same type of thing. So basically, uh, at, at that point, you are, uh, you're on the network, whether you're via laptop, via smart device, um, and that's really all there is to it. They've made it super simple, uh, and of course, if you have any questions at all, uh, we're always available 24-7 here at Northern Access Satellite Communications. We have uh, monthly plans that start at uh, roughly about uh, $25 per month. And we also have high usage plans that, that go up to uh, you know a lot larger for people that use it a lot more. So feel free to call us at any time at 877-299-9931. And again, this is Northern Access with the iSavvy Quick Start Guide.